Shalom, shalom, Yashua Allah. We're going to start off first things first. Giving all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Rahakadash, which in the pay of Hoover Tons, creating the Heavenly Heavenly Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Double honors to the apostles, and elders of Great Millstone. And shalom to you, sister, brothers, living this true. And shalom to the brothers and sisters that's listening and studying to show themselves approved. Shalom. Come to talk to you about today, something that is a very, very profound part of prophecy that lets us know we're at the end. And how I know that, or we know that, is that Esau has now been fully exposed to a level I have never experienced in my lifetime, nor I think has my grandparents or my parents experienced in their lifetime. These devils are now, people are now looking at them and calling them Edomites. Their whole diabolical plan is on full display. And, and it's like anybody with a lick of sense can now see it. And what sparked this is that, check this out, Yashrala. Yesterday at work, you know, I'm going to the restroom. I get stopped by Jake. You know, this Jake, I know this Jake. You know, he's a uh, he's a relative of, you know, somebody I know. And we tried to tell this Jake about the truth maybe about two or three years ago. And he scoffed at it. He scoffed. He didn't want to hear it. We crazy, all of that. So I bumps into this Jake again at work yesterday, you know, when I was in the restroom and he stops me and he asked me, he was like, you still reading? I'm like, man, you know, I stay reading. So then, you know, he started asking about what's going on because there's a lot of stuff going on right now. It's full display. So me and him, man, we talked for a minute too. He asked me about cryptocurrencies, you know, and, and what's all this cryptocurrency thing about? And is that going to be the new monetary system, you know? And, you know, I laced him up about that, told him all about it, you know, how that's going to be the new currency. They got, I told him about the CBDC and what it is. Then he said, well, you know, what about Elon Musk and this neural link I heard about? They're going to link that together? I said, you absolutely right. They're going to link that together. You know, that's the MOTB. You know, it goes together. It goes hand in hand because that's how they're going to stop you from buying and selling. So then we talked about the robot dogs and, you know, everything that's going on right now. Me and him talked about on what's happening because now he sees that the things we tried to tell him a long time ago is now becoming reality. And with that, he started saying like, man, hey, these white people really trying to, you know, they really coming to, you know, kill us, are they? And I'm like, yeah, they are. He's like, they're going to use them robot dogs, ain't they? I said, yep, and they got Terminators too, drones, everything in the kitchen sink. So when I told him that, he was like, man, we need to pull our money together and get some land and start gardening and growing all food and all of that. So me and him talking, I was like, yeah, that's a good start. And that's a good, you know, first line of defense. But I told him. All Esau got to do is make one phone call and they're going to sick that military on us. And then what? You know, he's like, yeah, they're going to do that. Yeah. And I was like, if you don't have your how about me, I was shy. You don't have the Lord. You're not going to make it through this. And that's when he got offended. He got angry. He walked out on that part, you know, because he, he really like Jake doesn't Jake see what's coming, but they don't want to seek the Lord. Jake think he can save himself. He think if he dooms, they prep good enough then he can, you know, offset what Esau about to do. But the big thing, what I've seen is that now he understands what's going on. He see Esau's plan. And it's not just that Jake, you know, I go to uh, to program my job put me in because I'm trying to, like, get more Federal Reserve notes for a go kablooey. So I'm in this program, and the, most of the people in the program are Edomites, redneck Edomites. And I remember having a talk with an Edomite, about the MOTB. He see it coming. You know, he's talking about, you know, trying to get things in place to offset it, get himself in a good position. Then there was another Edomite. He talked about the MOTB. So it lets me know, like, this devil is fully exposed. Like, they're not going to be able to finesse this thing in. When they bring in the B system, it's going to have to be by force. It's going to have to be by force. Because you got a group of people, they know what it is, and they're not going to comply. Them hardcore Trump supporters... Uh, I even see now Jake is waking up to what's going on. You know, it's not a lot of them, but I see it's a few. 
So you got about a couple of Babylonians, Americans that's not going to comply with the system, which is going to create, you know, hiccups, pushback. So, so Esau going to have a hard time, you know, rolling this thing in. Now, he's going to roll it in because Yabasha said he, he's going to get that opportunity, but I can see it's not going to last and it's not going to work, you know, according to scripture. And then I'm just saying it from a, you know, just seeing what's going on with the people is not going to work because everybody's not on board with this. Like, I can tell they probably got people in the military that's not on board with this. Uh, Esau's divided. They ain't even all together on this. And you can just see his L coming. And why is his L coming? It's because he's been exposed. Esau has always been good at running his plans because it's been in the dark. Didn't nobody know how deep Esau was. Like, I even have Jake telling me they know how Hollywood runs. Everybody know now you got to do abominable acts, rituals. Like, uh, uh, a hood nigga Jake. This happened the day before yesterday at work. We was talking about the Illuminati. And talking about how the music industry. I'm just listening to him tell me. You know, I already knew about it. I'm listening to him. And he like a, a hood nigga. So I'm like, if this Jake know how Hollywood runs, it's really, man, the whole covering has been stripped away. Esau has been stripped naked. Like, now, like, you signed that contract, you know what you're getting into. For dumb, lowly, you know, hood, two-third Jake know what it is. Everybody do. So, the devil doesn't have the, he doesn't have the, what the word I'm looking for? The luxury of having that, that covering, that deceit. He doesn't have the luxury of that anymore. That, that's, he's been fully exposed. Like, nobody's listening about the, you know, the, the 19 situation, ain't nobody going for that no more. You already got the people you're going to get. Like, they, they done ran out of lies on that. I seen a crazy story, article, you know, about that. And I'm like, you out of gas on them lies. So this 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 B system is going to be a very hard push. It's going to be a lot of bloodshed just to get it up and running. Because you got a lot of people that's not going to comply with it. It's going to be a lot of pushback. Esau's got to use every bit of resource he got to get this thing off the ground because and like I say the longer he takes setting this up the more people are going to wake up and not comply to this and it's going it's going to be a hard setup so with that we we'll start off this first precept this is Jeremiah 49 and 10 and it said it reads but I have made Esau bear I have uncovered his secret places and he shall not be able to hide himself. His seed is spoiled and his brethren and his neighbors and he is not. So you repeat that say, I have uncovered his secret places. So all the small hatters, 1948ers, all the deceit, you know, behind the veil like Wizard of Oz, that's been totally peeled back. Everybody, like you even see some lowly Jakes calling Esau Edomites. They call the so-called white man Edomites. Like his nationality is now getting stuck onto him. The 1948ers are exposed. Everybody know they're not the real people. And we are. They're starting to be a known thing. Like you watch Apostle Horace, one of his latest lessons, man. It showed a, a, a Jake couple arguing with an Edomite woman. And she holler, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm the ish. And they holler out, nah, we the real ones. You know, <laughs> you wouldn't even expect them to know that, man. So this knowledge is becoming very common. Like, our people are claiming their nationality. So with that, Esau has been proven to be identity theft. So I know they got to bring in the MOTB system. Because now, you know, everybody's looking at you like you're not the real people no more. So you, you got a bad situation on your hands. Because like, let the heathens start thinking that too. You know, so you done lost that. You done lost that fake identity. Esau has lost that now. You know, so uh, which I might go show that. I might show you the lessons. You can watch the clip yourself. I should have had that pulled up. This you can hear that, man. Just so you can hear that that they're losing, man. The, the cover is is coming undone, and it said he should not be able to hide himself. Esau can't hide no more. You know, everybody know about your MOTB system. Everybody know what you about to do. Like, your hand is shown, man. You know, you play dominoes. You can see all those little dominoes. <laughs> see his cards. You playing poker. Everybody know what you're doing. So, I'm looking at Esau. You might as well just do it. And you got to do it hardcore. You got to use the sword, your military, to bring it in. Because people ain't about to go for that. They ain't about to go for that. So, I'm loving it. That's prophecy right there. 
That Jeremiah 49 to 10, that is in play right now. Esau has been made bare. He's naked. You can see Esau for everything he is. You know, all that criminal activity, the, the sex trafficking, the selling of drugs, like all ashamed for spewing his glory. They don't even want you to teach history in schools no more because they're ashamed of what they done did. Like Esau is all the way stripped, which I'm going to go. Let's get some, man. I got an article right here. You know, it's old, but check it out. And this let me know, man, they about done. It said, did the FBI just arrest 17, you know, ish rabbis in New Jersey for trafficking human organs, body parts, and money laundering? So, you know, it's getting bad because they own the feds. So, when I'm looking at this is that I think they just got, they, they did something wrong to their own. And they own this out at them. These, these little rabbis right here. So they just got put out there because you they they control the feds. They control what gets printed. So for this to be printed to the public and it be out like that, they in trouble, man. They they've been exposed, man. They even kicking their own out. You know, human trafficking. You know them was Jake organs, because our organs are the best. And this is all on Front Street. You know, look, look at them. You know, so I ain't gonna really just read it. I just wanted to show you that, like. You know, that they, they getting caught up, man. All their crimes is on display. Like, this is showing to me as a whole. Because if these got caught, they doing this as people, period. You know, they organ trafficking and money laundering. Because that's what they do. Lie, cheat, and steal. You know, so they own this out of them. And I feel like they out of all of them as a whole. Because I feel like if, if just... 17 of them is doing that. Y'all all doing that. That's what y'all do. You know, that's how they try to prolong their life. Um, That's how they, they always do money laundry. You know, they all crooked. They always doing some corrupt stuff. That's how the politicians learn to do their game. They just learn from the, you know, the 1948ers. So you you can look that up. It's on, it's on the internet. And that's something like, psh, usually that stuff get, you know, tucked under the ground now they putting on fun street so they'll let you know this devil's losing his power um they're being exposed at a high level and I, this is something i never thought i'd see in my lifetime i'm looking like dang esau man hey it's hey it's a wrap for you man you know good luck putting in your motb system i know it's not gonna last long because you got too many battles you trying to fight man you fighting the people you fighting the heathen nations, you fighting Israel, and you fighting against your Habashi Arashah. Well, you're going to lose that battle. That's the battle you're not going to win. So I'm just looking at these devils, and I'm loving the what Yahabasha is doing right now. Because he said he exposed Esau, and he's doing it. Let's go get another precept. He's doing it, man. So now, like, the two-third Jake, if they don't know what's going on, and they just lost right now, hey, man. They, they need to go. They deserve to go. Because that means you just not paying attention. And your eyes ain't open. You're blind. So with you being blind, hey, man, you, you get ran through by Esau, that's your own fault. Because you have a child has, has made good on all his promises as exposing this devil if you're paying attention. So check it out. This is Isaiah 47 to 2. Take the millstones and grind mill. <laughs> Great millstone, baby. Uncover the locks. Make bare the leg, uncover the thigh, and pass over the rivers. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Yea, thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance, and I will not meet thee as a man. Woo, that probably, a hey, that probably drives shivers down Esau's back. So when you hear that last part, <laughs> you have a shot, let him know, Esau, I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you. First, I'm going to expose you so my people can see you. <laughs> and once you're fully exposed, I'm about to come mop you up. You know, in that scripture, I'm going to break down. Because it, I like it's one part in, uh, on number two, verse two, that's big. When he said, make bare the leg, that's going to the statue in, in Daniel. You know, when Daniel was talking about that statue, you know, uh, Nebuchadnezzar's dream. When he said, make bare the leg, why he said, why that precept say make bare the leg? Because on that statue, the leg on down, the thigh on down. That's what it said, uncover the thigh. That's all Esau's rulership. That's your Greek. 
your Romans, you know, on down. That's talking about Esau to defeat. You know, the, the, the toes and the miry clay, that's all talking about Esau. So now I see why, because brown people rule first. You know, the Babylonians, your, your original Babylonians, that's, that's your Hamites. And then when you get down to the thigh, the Greeks, the Grecians, that's when Esau started ruling, man, with Alexander the Creep. And then when you go on down, it go from Greek to Rome, you know, all the way down to, to uh, uh, Babylon the Great, the, the European Union to America. When you're down to the feet, which is the revised Roman Empire, that's why he said, make bare the leg and uncover the thigh. Because he's talking about Esau right there. He said, your necklace shall be uncovered. The shame should be seen, man. And you see it. That's why they, critical race theory. Don't talk about slavery. Now I'm ashamed about it. Because now y'all know who y'all are based on what I did to you. I put the curses on you. Now y'all done went into the word. Found your nationality. Now, I don't want to talk about that. Now, I feel bad about that. They said when I was coming up in school, they had pride in telling us they put our people in slavery. Now, I'm hearing what? 2022, about to be 2023. Now, they don't want to talk about that no more. You know why? Because the truth is pumping hard. And we go right to Deuteronomy chapter 28 on the curses of what they did to us in slavery. And it proves we are the people. You know, the 1948ers don't like that. Now, they're like, oh, man, us teaching that. That, that, that shows that pride is destroying them. Pride go for destruction. So you, you was in pride talk about how you put my people in slavery, yokes iron on our neck, lynching us, you know, for a minute in 56. You was in pride doing that. Now that the truth is pumping and we, you know, brothers are poster boards out there showing our people hanging, showing the yokes iron on our neck. Now you're like, oh, man, I don't want to talk about that no more. You know why? Because now you exposed, devil. Now, now we know we know our nationality. Now we're tracing our back based on your crimes. You know, the criminal's been caught red-handed. Pun intended. Esau's caught red-handed. He's the red man. Now he's exposed. Now he's trying to do like what they call it, damage control. Clean up. Clean up on aisle three. <laughs> aisle six. Esau done straight wetted itself. You know, he's exposed. He's naked. We see this devil. And he show sure is ugly. <laughs> you know, so I'm loving it, man. Yabashai, hey, he is fully exposing the devil. We're seeing his nakedness. We seen Esau for a year. They said they little boats with drugs getting caught up. They getting caught. The little trafficking is getting caught. They getting caught in their little scandals getting caught. You know, children getting caught up there smoking crack. And they done put the whole little... Look, you know, if anybody get caught with crack, you go to jail. You get caught, you get life. And then here your son is on, t on, on the camera, on the tube, weighing up big giant crack rocks. <laughs> you know, this is foes. You know, and I bet you, he the one who buy his son crack. You get money, he the one buying it. See, these devil's exposed, man. I said, if you don't know Esau is the devil in the flesh, hey, you, you, how much y'all deserve to mop you up? Because you're dumb. You're a black person. You know, and we ain't in the dark no more. It's just, I mean, I, I just be laughing. I be loving it, man. Because Yabasha is exposing them daily. You know, other countries like uh, Ishmael is seeing their nakedness, talking smack. Hamites is uncover their nakedness, talking smack. You know, they, they look at Esau looking real bad right now. He used to, you know, everybody look up to this devil, think he really something. Everybody looking at Esau for what he is, the base man. Now, like, they women jumping ship. You got Edomite women. Yeah, they do this and that. And I don't like them. I'm about to get me a black man. You know, they jumping ship. They know that mug got holes in it. Now, I see Edomite women expose Esau all the time now. Now they're trying to jump on Jake. Because they both, they was riding on sinking. And you better not be a dummy and let them jump. Man, I, man, get that Edomite devil to Heisman. Shit, you was just over there talking smack. Like, you helped them devils oppress us. You gave birth to the devil. I look like messing with you. Stiff arm to you, devil. Go down with your seeking boat. Get back in your boat. You know? So, it's, it's a, and like it said, you got Edomites exposing Edomites. Talking noise. Yeah, they doing it. They doing that. I wasn't with that. Being whistleblowers. That's why you said men exposed some, but they ain't together. They ain't on the same page no more. I guess they ain't get good deals. They get soured up. Just like we just read that article. They casting their own out. And really, I'm like, you're telling on yourself. Because if he got caught doing it, 
all y'all doing it. That's what you do. <laughs> These devils, man. And it's a great thing to see, man. That's why you can't tell me you how much y'all don't exist. These prophecies, this book was written by them. No, it ain't. This book condemning them right now. Been condemning them. We pulling the truth out of you. And they, I'm going to leave off with this right here. Let's go to this. Because Esau about to be done away with. Because first the exposure comes. First you get exposed. You know, the evidence gets presented in the court. And then, then you know, we, we like the, the, the jury, the witnesses, you know, we the witness. And then, you know, then judgment come out. So check it out. This is Second Thessalonians 2 and 8. And then shall the wicked be revealed, whom the Lord should consume with the spirit of his mouth and should destroy with the brightness of his coming. So, hey, like we read in the precept earlier, Yahusha is coming to destroy Esau and everything he built. You know, and it's actually the wicked shall be revealed and consumed with the spirit of his mouth, man. What was the spirit of Yahabashah's mouth? The prophets, his men, Yasharala, we calling it out. You know, me and my Akim out there week in and week out. You know, prophesying the downfall of Babylon the Great and exposed to Esau. You know, week in and week out, doing these video epistles. So the spirit of Yahabashah's mouth, which goes to the voice of his people, is consuming this devil. This devil, he like struggling to hide his crimes. He really can't hide them. Now he just got to like come with that sword and try to knock out the witness before the judge, you know, make his judgment. You know, because we we are the witnesses, man. Would you let me go get that? I'm going to leave off with that. You know, I wasn't going to let it. Uh, let me see. Where Where is that at? Because I know off the head, I'm going to leave with that. Yeah, in Revelation, I should have known that. I'm going to leave off this right here. Because this goes into what we just read in 2 Thessalonians 2 and 8. This is Revelation 11 and 3. And I will give power unto my two witnesses, and they shall prophesy a thousand two hundred three score days, cloth and sackcloth. And who that two witnesses going into? Northern kingdom and southern kingdom. You know, you got your Hispanics, so-called Hispanics, so-called Native Americans, talking about what Esau done did bad to do. They uncovering their crimes. And then you got the southern tribe, Benjamin, Levi, and Judah. We up here uncovering their crimes as well, too. So that's the power he's giving to the two witnesses right there, which I want to say, you know, the, the two, the first witness was, was uh, what I want to say, Joshua, and, and Jezebel, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, that's think that's how you say his name. And uh, it, it started with them. And now it has transformed into the northern and the southern tribe because they were the first two. They represented the southern northern tribe. And it's now translated into us as a whole, as a nation. You got the northern tribe as a witness and you got the southern tribe as a witness. So that's the power the Yahweh Shah said, I'll get to my two witnesses. And he said they should prophesy a thousand two hundred three score days, cloth and sackcloth. That's why we wear the garments. Those are those garments of sackcloth, which I wear. I got one that's really is sackcloth. You know, it's that burlap. So we prophesying that because we're, we're in the spirit of mourning. We're mourning the death of our Messiah and his return to get us up out of here. And see, when you in court, this is what Esau about to do, Yahshua. Check this out. When you in court and you know you guilty and there's a steady, a, a solid witness against you, because that's the most time they go get a witness to convict somebody. So like a mafia, like an evil mafia that Esau is, what he trying to do right now? He's trying to destroy the witness. That's what Jacob's trouble is about. He's trying to get rid of the witness. Why? Because we're going to declare the devil's crimes to the judge. Yeah, how about me? I was shy. And he's guilty. We got solid evidence to get this devil. You know, we done lived through it. We got all the evidence together. We talk about it. We done relate it to the scriptures. And I, hey, we got a solid case against this devil. Solid. It's rock solid against this devil. So now, this like mafia style. Esau like, man, I got to destroy this witness before he, you know, give up his testimony. That's why, what was there? It goes to Revelation 12 and 17, man. Those that have the testimony of Yahweh Shahamashiach. We got the testimony. So Esau's trying to get rid of us. 
So we don't give that testimony. So he won't get, you know, judged and knocked out of power, which really there's nothing the devil can do. We're going to give our testimony. We already given it now. So hey, he's really a day late and a dollar short. This devil will go down. You know, he's scared of Yahweh Shah, man. Yahweh Shah is the executioner. You know, Esau getting the death penalty. <laughs> you know? He going, hey, look, when you go on death row, what you do? This, let me, that, ooh, that's so spiritual. Just on death row, Esau going to serve the nation of Yahshua for a thousand years. And after them thousand years, he's going to be done away with. You know, he going to get the death penalty. Cause then you know most time you don't just go right then and there. You serve some years and then you go get your time. But look, to prove that, let's go to Obadiah. Let's leave with that. Man, that was so spiritual. Let's go to Obadiah just to prove that. Obadiah one and eighteen. And the house of Jacob should be a fire, southern tribe, and the house of Joseph a flame. You know, represent northern tribe, and the house of Esau for stubble. And they should kindle in them and devour them, and there should not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for the Lord has spoken it. You hear that? So the devil gonna serve. Because that's that we're gonna be a uh, what it say? We shall kindle in them and devour them. That's us putting that rod of iron on them, making them serve that hard, you know, hard bonded slavery. You know, that's us burning them up. We're gonna be messing them up during that slavery they get served, man. It's gonna be so hard. And rigorous that there's going to be none remaining in the house of Esau, man. Because we're going to be putting, we're going to be working them devils to death. That's how hard we're going to do it. Lashes going on their back. You know, we're going to be, hey, putting a heavy hand on these devils. And I love that, man. And that, that's about to happen. You know, and that, that goes with all the precepts we just pulled out earlier. Perfectly. You know, come on, man. That's line upon line, precept upon precept. Hearing little, third little. We just gave you the whole good news. Esau about to go down. But he's been exposed now. First, the exposure has to happen, which is happening big time. This devil exposed. Then the testimony gonna go out to really pin it on this devil. You know, pin the crimes on him. And then when your shot get here, there goes the judgment. And he's gonna get locked up. We're gonna have him locked up. Yoke of iron on his neck. He's gonna be working. He's gonna be pulling chain. And then, you know, after a while, he's going to get that, that call up, man. Hey, death row time, baby. Time to go ahead. We're going to all watch you, you know, <laughs> get executed. You know, and that's going to be a very great thing, man. The great, 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 great grandchildren, you know, they probably got to see a, a Edomite in, a, in, a, in the museum or something, you know. That's the only way they're going to see an Edomite because there ain't going to be none out here walking around. They're going to be telling us, like, what's that right? What, what person is that? That look all... Pinkish red. We're like, those were Edomites. They used to rule, you know, the planet Earth. They're like, uh oh, damn. They used to rule great, great, great. That. Like, yeah, they used to rule, man. They they gonna be in disbelief. Like, that that old pink looking devil ruled over y'all. I'm like, man, I used to have to work for him, man. It, it was it was horrible, grandson. I don't even want to talk about it no more. You know, let's let's get ready for the feast day. You know, that's that's gonna be, you know, a, a very glorious thing. So we're getting ready to go into that chapter, man. The testimony's going out. The devil's been exposed. And the, the testimony, man, the, the case is rock solid. The case is rock solid. So the devil, man, he, you know, we just got to play it out. The court system. But this devil, he's guilty. <laughs> and he will be prosecuted. You know, guaranteed. <laughs> Our evidence is rock solid. And Yahweh Shah will deliver out that judgment. You know, Yahweh Shah Sha will deliver it, man. Yahweh is the judge. You know, he's going to slam it down. Bloop, 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 bloop. Hey, Yahweh Sha go, hey, run over there, apprehend this devil, man. Put him in straight, put him in them cuffs. You know? <laughs> and hey, we're going we gonna to put him to work. You know? We're going to be like, we got some work for you, baby. Yeah, you're going to work hard. You know? I think my first business, Lord willing, I'm going to be breeding them. I'm going to be selling them, you know? Auction block, baby. Three gold shekels, hey, sales. <laughs> yeah, your Black Friday sale gonna be really something then. I'm gonna have all kind of little sales, you know? So, I hope this been edifying. You know, I wanna say Kwam Yashar Allah, DTL Baba Bob, Shalom Wong.